Welcome back guys, my name is Mr. Me, and I'm coming to you from my normal Windows 10 desktop. I was using Windows 7 until a couple weeks ago when I found a BIOS update that allowed me to actually be compatible with Windows 10 and fix Windows 7's uh, Aeroglass issue. So I fixed that, and only after I upgraded to Windows 10 did I realize that I seemed to have misplaced my Windows 7 product key. So... That's that's depressing. I don't know where it is, but I'll probably I'll, I'll probably find it eventually. So on to what this is about. If you're like me, you like a whole bunch of sounds and no pretty flashy sounds when stuff happens, like a program crashes or you get a little notice box or a program asks you a question or something like that. You like sounds. But however, if we go into the sounds box on the taskbar here. You'll notice that sounds like lock, unlock, log off, log on, and shutdown are no longer present in this list. That's because Microsoft has disabled them ever since Windows 8. But there is a workaround you can do that will make these play for all users, and it's pretty painless. But you need to be an administrator on the PC that you're working on, and your administrator account also has to have a password. If it does not have a password, you cannot do it. So assuming that you're running on an administrator account with an administrator password, that sounded weird. So to get started, you're going to need to open Task Scheduler. An open Task Scheduler, you can either open the window, the Run dialog box by doing WinR and typing taskschedge.msc or you can open your Cortana search box and type in that and do it. Or if you have an old school start menu like me, you can just type in task scheduler up here and it'll pop up. But either way, once you have task scheduler open, all you need to do to get it, really get this kicked off is to go over to the right pane under actions and click on create task. Sound like it's a task, not task, whatever. You know, the button that says create task. In the window that comes up, give the task any name you want. If you want to do it for lock, do like play lock sound, or unlock play lock sound, or play log off sound, or play log on sound, or play shutdown sound. Whichever one you're doing, I'm going to combine all of them into it because it's so much easier than like doing separate doing separate videos that don't really differ that much. Give it a name, I'm just gonna give it a name like blah 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 blah. There, there's a good name. Under, do not worry about location or description unless you really want to, but those are all optional. Make sure that you check this box that says run whether user is logged on or not. Don't worry about do not store password, leave that unchecked but check the box that says run with highest privileges. And under the configure for box, I'm going to assume that you're using Windows 10, so click on Windows 10. This will work on Windows 7, 8, 8.1, or 10. Even though on 7 you can configure all these sounds in the sound box, but... I'm going to assume you're on Windows 10. So once you have that set up, click on the Triggers tab, and then click on New. Once that window opens up, focus your attention on the box that says Begin the Task for what? If you want the sound to play when you lock the computer, click on the, di click on the dialog box, the drop down menu, and click on Workstation Lock. If you want it to be when you unlock the computer like you know you came back from getting your sandwich and your drink and your chips and you're ready to keep watching another episode of like the game grumps or whatever click workstation unlock if you want it to be when you log off of your account but the computer is still on click on the drop down and select on an event log and under log do security 
This is a long list. Uh, da, 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 security. And under event ID, type in 4647. If you want it to be when the user logs on, click on the drop down and, t and click on at log on. I don't know why log off is not listed under here so so basically or simply whatever word I don't know but <laughs> that was my phone I'm sorry <laughs> it's sideways and so it vibrates really weird anyway so if you wanted it to play on shutdown instead you would click on on an event Instead of security, you would click on system, and under event ID, type in 1074. That corresponds to the user of the computer initiating the shutdown. So once you have that all set up, regardless of what it is, click on the OK button. Then all you need to do now is click on actions and click on new. In the new action window, keep the box open here that says start a program under action. Under program slash script, type in the box PowerShell. The P and the S are capital. Now in the add arguments box, and this is essential, you need to put in the following, you need to put in this argument. This command will the command this argument will also be in the description so it'll be simple for you to copy and paste it in. Now, you might want to change something about the argument. You can have it either you can have it play a default sound like Windows shutdown or you can have it play any other sound of your choosing, which I would play something else if I were you. So, find a file, like I'm going to go into C, I want to maximize this actually, I'm going to go to C, Windows, Media, Distance Announcer, yes, I've extracted this crap, don't judge me, and I would do shutdown.wave. Technically, you can have it play from any folder you like, but to make it easy, to make it certain so that it doesn't like not play or there's no complications try to make sure that the file that you want to play is within the C Windows media folder that way it's get pretty much guaranteed that it will play so once you have found it come back to your create task window and substitute the path of the sound that you want to play over C Windows Media Windows Shutdown Wave. So in my case, it would be C Windows Media C Distance Distance. Oh my God, Distance Announcer. I can never spell that right. Like I type too fast. Distance Announcer slash Shutdown dot Wave. And then you click OK. And now under the conditions tab, the only thing you have to do is untick the box that says start the task only if the computer is on AC power. So if you're on a laptop, that means the task will run whether you're on a battery or you're plugged in. And then hit OK. And here's the part where you actually need the password for. Make sure that you do have a password or else you can't save it. Enter your administrator password. If you have a PIN set up to log in easier and faster, you can't enter the PIN. If you have a local account, a local user account, enter the password for your local user account. If you have a Microsoft account linked to Windows 10, enter the password for your linked Microsoft account. Arrow 4 of 4, success not found. So, here's your task. It will now run at the specified event and it will play the specified sound. 
That's all there is to it. So that's how you can add a sound for those specified events in Windows 10 without having to like hack the mainframe. So I hope you found this to, to I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And I thank you guys very, very so much for watching. Make sure you make sure you like. Make sure you click the bell and click turn on all notifications so you can get notified of everything that happens. Whenever it happens, even though it's not like on a schedule, but you'll get notified. So with that, thanks for watching again and I'll see you later.